Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome everyone and I want to thank all the Legionnaires out there. I want to thank all the troops and I want to thank all the new subscribers. We made it. I'm over a thousand. Not only did I reach a thousand, but I'm over a thousand. It's all thanks to you guys. And uh, just hope that you guys really enjoy this content. But today in front of you, we have the LT Wright Forest Trail Knife in A2 steel this time. And uh, I really want to test this out. And we're going to process this log right over here. But before we get into anything, troops, let me know what is in your pocket today. I am carrying the Cold Steel AD10 Tonto version. Check out my shorts on this knife and uh, check out my community posts. Uh, I thanked everybody and I used this as a picture. All right, let me know what's in your pocket, troops. Appreciate it. Veterans and active military, thank you very much for your service. And I really, again, appreciate you guys. Help me get to a thousand and above. Thank you very much. All right, troops, let's go over some quick specs. This is the LT Wright Forest Trail Knife with natural micarta or tan uh, micarta handles. Overall length of 10 inches, handle length 5 inch, and a blade length of 5 inch. Blade thickness is 1.56 inch. Blade steel is A2 tool steel with an HRC of 57 to 59. Uh, blade type is a drop point. Blade grind is a high saber grind. Again, the handle material is a tan or natural micarta. The knife weight is 8.3 ounces. It is full tang and it does come with a beautiful leather sheath made in the USA. Let's do some quick look. Uh, let's do a quick close up. All right, troops, real quick. That is the LT Wright logo over here. Let's see if we can get this into focus. There we go. There's the LT Wright logo. There's that beautiful high saber grind. Man, they do a phenomenal job. It's got a really nice sharp spine. And hopefully once I do a Legion light up for all the subscribers, we can see what this spine can do. Beautifully done. Natural or tan handle micartas. Beautiful pins. Full tang. Coke bottle shape type handle just amazing i love 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 this knife uh they call this a protruding tank believe it or not they have that in the description but you know what i am grateful that they have this tank so i can batten this into the stump and do some feathering so let's get to it ladies and gentlemen almost forgot the sheath troops Real quick, let's take a look at it. It's a dangler type sheath. It also can be used uh, for the hip, low dangle, and then for the hip carry, it's an adequate sheath. It fits very nice. It's got an option for a ferro rod, and it is perfection in my opinion. Okay, now let's get started. All right, I think I'm gonna try something a little different. Instead of chopping through this log, which I know 100% it would be capable. I'm gonna baton through this log, right through the center. I wanna see how this A2 steel holds up. That's pretty deep. All right, let's change position on this. All right, troops, sorry about that. I needed to get off camera because this knife was so stuck in there that it took a little bit of time. But what I'm gonna do is if you could still see, there is that cut and it went in pretty deep. I'm just gonna reposition it. And I'm battening so hard that the bark is coming right off and impaling itself in the stump right here, which is phenomenal. So, all right, so this is the original cut. I'm just gonna turn it over a little bit and we are going to continue until it's through all the way. All 
but so far it's doing pretty good. I am bashing this thing, folks. It just keeps on going deeper and deeper. All right, I have to reposition again, so just a second. All right, troops, another position change. Let's keep on going. Just gonna turn it around a little bit and continue. I'm hitting that so hard that it's definitely chewing up the baton. But we're gonna keep on going. How deep that's going in all right let me fix this up reposition all right just a real quick look we are getting through we are getting through so I wouldn't recommend doing this by any means this is just to test out this knife the steel and let's just keep on going until it's all the way through Another reposition. All right, let's see if we can get through this. There we go. How cool is that? How cool is that? Let's check the edge together. Make sure I get a good close up. Oh, that's still friggin' sharp. Damn, no damage at all. Wow. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's try some vertical and horizontal batoning, but that did a great job. I mean, look at that. Look how clean, pretty clean that cut is. Now again, this is just a test. I really wanted to test the A2 steel. Uh, I know what 3V can do, but you know what? It's an LT right, so I have ultimate faith. All right, let's make some quarters and then I will do a sharpness test, okay? Beautiful. That was easy, right through. Right, great. Let's do a quick horizontal baton. Beautiful. That's great. That's fantastic. All right, quick sharpness test. Okay, so far so good. Sorry about the background noise, but look at that right through that's great all right let's move on i want to do some feather sticks all right troops i did go off camera i did make smaller pieces and there's that log that i chopped almost straight through it did a great job let's do some quick feather sticking
Beautiful. I'm just doing this so lightly right now. Look how sharp that is. Try different parts of the blade. See? Very tip. Just got to get the right angle. But it's doing it. Fantastic. Look at that. A2 steel baby LT right. Wow. Wow. Fantastic troops. Fantastic. Uh, got myself a little bit longer stick. A little bit drier actually because that's kind of wet. Not that that matters. Let's see. Hopefully I got you guys at a good angle. Yeah, she's looking good. She's looking good, troops. Very nice. Very nice. All right. All right, just one more feather test. I want to definitely uh, knock the point into the uh, the Legion chopping block and try some feathering that way. Because I kind of do like that test. So as you can see, it does have a full tang and it does protrude a little bit. Not much, but it does protrude a little bit. So let's make sure it's nice and stable in there. Let's get this out of the way. So you could uh, get a good view of everything. Let's give her a test. See if I get the right angle over here. Oh, she's making the curls. There we go. There we go. Very nice. If you get the angle right, I mean, you can make some really thin, thin shavings. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Hope you guys are getting a good look at this. And again, I apologize for the noise, but I do have to share this park with other people. But let your focus be on this knife. All right, troops, check it out. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's try a simple tip test, yeah? Because this is a pretty aggressive tip. Very nice. Try another one. Nothing too too thick. Now I'm keeping in mind and respecting the fact that this is a bushcraft knife. So I'm not trying to go too crazy with this knife because, wow, that cut real nice. Because this is a knife for a certain purpose in my opinion, you know? It's not really an all-rounder, but I guess in a pinch, it's better than nothing. Well, she's doing it. Okay, I'm happy with this tip test. Let's move on. All right, for our Legion light up, I just want to make a few curls and I want to use the front end of the stick to carve individual pieces. So just want to show you guys that it is capable of making individual Shavings. So it's very sharp. Very nice. I really do appreciate all the subscribers, man. 
uh, I never thought after a whole year that I got to a thousand so quick, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's all thanks to the subscribers because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, man. So this means a lot to me, this particular Legion light up for today. Yeah, she's doing good. So got this off to the side and I want to test out the spine on the knife. So let's do a little scraping of this fat wood. There we go. Uh, LT Wright has some of the sharpest spines in the business troops, in the business. You don't even need that Smith's wood grater. All you need is a good sharp spine from LT Wright. There we go. Look at that. Look at how sticky that is. And uh, you know, I wanna encourage um, possible subscribers who are thinking about becoming content creators. You know what, uh, guys and gals? Do it. Absolutely do it. It'll be rough from the start. I'm not gonna sit here and, and you know, and lie to you guys. It'll be rough. It's a learning curve. You gotta figure out, you know, what software you wanna get and how to, you know, manipulate the software, but don't let that scare you, you know? And uh, I really do wanna encourage all the subscribers who are really thinking about, you know, starting a YouTube channel. Um, I would love to, to see them. You know, I'd love to see your videos. I'd love to see your knives. And, uh, you know, we'll help support you guys. Okay, shout you out. So, if you made it this far into the video, you know, take it to heart. And that I hope that you guys will decide to try it out. Even if it's one or two videos, give it a go. See if you like it. You never know. You know, it worked out for me, you know. My uh, first videos are rough, but I'll never take them down because maybe somebody can learn something from it, you know. All right, guys, gals, troops. This is a nice, nice little pile right over here. All right. All right, troops, Legionnaires, new subscribers. This is my honor for you guys because you helped me reach 1,000 and above. I really do appreciate you guys. This is for all of you, okay? Let's light her up. There we go. There we go, troops. There we go. A <laughs> Legion light up. 1,000 subscribers plus. All thanks to you guys. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, content creators, for all your help. Thank you, Sc Scabs at Choir Boys Cutlery and Outdoors, because you sparked my fire. This is for all you guys, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. So much appreciated. And this knife in A2 steel is badassery. We're going to go over it real quick. All right, Legionnaires. Incredible. A2 steel, tempered and heat treated by LT Wright. Just amazing an amazing knife it did a great job i want you guys to take a good close look at this blade it's dirty it's used the spine did a hell of a job all right this thing is still sharp let's let's see i want you guys to take a look at this i want to try and make some of the finest things finest curls possible and i want to do it right in front of the camera look at that i'm not even pushing down just nice and easy. Let's try the tip. That's insane. It is a little expensive, LT Wright knives, but you know what? You're getting quite a bit for what you're paying for. And, uh, you know, the one of the best part of it is, is that it's American made. Look at that, troops. I did nothing to this. No stropping, no resharpening. This thing 
is sharp as the day that I bought it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, look at that. Look at that. That's not even trying, all right? So I'll make sure you guys get this in focus, okay? Look at that. All right, you saw me, you know, I would never recommend it to anybody, but you saw me baton through that log, okay? Look, not even doing V-notching, but right through the baton. It took some time, and I would never recommend it, and I probably won't do it again, but I definitely wanted to test this, uh, this, uh, this knife. Okay, we made quarters, we made feather sticks, uh, we did the draw, draw uh, pull for the feather sticks, we made manageable pieces, and I did use the tip. I try to keep it respectful towards the bushcrafting side of things, although I'm pretty sure that this knife is capable of anything that you pretty much throw at it. And uh, before I end this, you know, again, I wanna thank everybody you know, I want to thank everybody, uh, all the subscribers, all the content creators, and I hope that you guys enjoyed that Legion light up. I am honored. I am 1000% honored that you guys helped me reach the goal of 1000 subscribers. I can't thank you enough. All right, so to all you subscribers, to all you content creators, this will be a very memorable 1000 sub video so you know it's all to you guys all right um let me know what is in your pocket ladies and gentlemen i would love to know um make it special since it's a thousand sub video let you know write it down vets and military appreciate you guys thank you for your service let me know who you are and write it down in the comments below for this special thousand sub video and I want to bring awareness to everybody, hashtag 22 a day, hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans and military personnel that wants to come out of the military. They do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. I have in my comments and description section, phone numbers, websites that you guys can go to. There's also a message from a Martin Miller. He is a Vietnam veteran from 66 to 69. And I am proud that he is a legionnaire of this channel. He has left you a, a heartfelt message. Uh, please read it and seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. Legionnaires, troops, new subscribers, thank you. Very much appreciated. At the ready, guys. Hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires!